This is Transformers 96 here with another video review, this time of Transformers 1, um, Scorponok. So, um, this is his alternate mode. I just want to do this first so I can get it over with because this, this alternate mode is just horrific. I don't see why they even put it in. It should have just been a non-transforming, uh, one just still posable because this is just horrible. What is it? You know, and you got all the big knife in the back, and he just looks awful like this. I don't know why they even decided to put it in. So, you're not buying the toy for this. So, uh, Transformer, just put the legs up. But this is what you're buying. This guy is just really, really awesome. He's, um, the paint job is fabulous. It's just like, uh, um, it was in the movie. And you get all the nice stickers that, you know, all the numbers and caution and everything all around him. So he's just awesome. The paint job was totally awesome. And, um, you just, uh, you can, uh, you just move this. Or, oh, sorry. You move the stuff on the bottom. The little wheels, so when he rolls, his hands do, do a little action. So that's pretty cool. And then also, when you press this button, the tail, the knife comes out of the tail. So he's just an awesome figure. Totally worth your while. You should definitely get it. He does hook on to Blackout. So, um, in my Blackout review, look out for that. So, um, he's just awesome the way he looks, just like the movie, um, I missed out at him, um, when the first movie came out, so, uh, this year, though, I bought him on eBay for 12 bucks, so, it was great, just like I bought him in the store, so, um, in perfect condition, so he was just a great buy, definitely need to get this one, I do have the Stalker Scorponok, and I will be doing that next, so, if you want to see how the paint compares to him, okay, check that out, alright, thanks for watching.